When it comes to fighting climate change, former White House chef Sam Cass believes that food and agriculture are on the front lines. Scientists do agree that how we farm and treat the land has a direct impact on how much carbon it can remove from the air. Katie Beck sat down with Cass to get the story. Former Obama family chef Sam Cass is vocal about his appetite for change specifically tackling climate change. We're kind of at the place where the house is completely on fire. We have no time to really kind of debate. We have to start really making progress that's measurable year over year. While working for the administration, Cass tilled soil on the issue of responsible food production and literally creating the first major vegetable garden at the White House since Eleanor Roosevelt. We produced over 200 pounds of food already, going on 210. Meanwhile, Cass dug in on policy, drawing focus on the agriculture industry and its impact on the environment. Food and agriculture is the number two driver of greenhouse gas emissions globally, but it's definitely on track to become number one in the coming decades. Now, Cass, MSNBC host Alex Wagner's husband, is sounding the alarm to current policymakers to find sustainable ways to make food. When you look at the models and what it looks like in the future, we will not be growing coffee in any of the places we're growing it now. And the cost and volatility that comes with that is going to be so high that it's going to become increasingly expensive just to have a little piece of chocolate at the end of your day. Cass says a bigger long-term solution will involve changing people's mind on food, a culture and behavioral shift, starting with food waste. That's really also part of this, isn't it, in terms of using what we have and making it last and making it stretch rather than kind of carelessly throwing it away. Absolutely. I mean, the United States, it's estimated we waste about 40% of the food we produce, which is just insane. It's crazy on every level. I mean, from a natural resource standpoint, um, it's a, just an ecological disaster. Cass says while other big industries like energy get a big focus when it comes to impacting climate, food production process needs to be top of mind as well for decision makers. How do you reach these policy leaders? Yeah, I think, um, I think part of what we have failed to do for those of us who have been working on these issues for some time is to connect issues around climate change and the environment uh, to people's lives in a much more emotionally based context. He says time is running out, but according to Cass, there is hope. That's actually what starts to get me very hopeful. Food and agriculture can start to take out large amounts of carbon in the air and start putting that carbon into the soil. And that was Katie Beck reporting. Now this year, we aired weekly stories about Maine's changing climate, and you can watch those on our website and on our mobile app under the tab, Maine's Changing Climate. 40% waste of food. It's just appalling. It really is. We need to do better. Mm.